Hi, this is meteorologist Steve Pelletieri. I am the weatherman. Thanks for checking into theweathermanpod.com on your Wednesday morning, ninth day of the month of October 2024. And, of course, the big news. Hurricane Milton, still a Category 5 storm. Just check the latest uh, guidance from the GFS. It shows that the storm will be continuing to uh, move towards the northeast and increase its forward speed on target to be somewhere around the Tampa St. Pete area or just slightly south of there as far as the eye wall is concerned. Either way, it's just a bad situation, a very bad situation for the whole Florida West Coast from Fort Myers northward all the way up to the Gainesville area and the Big Bend again. So at the Big Bend area on the northern end, it's going to be a more of a northwesterly flow and uh, that blows the water out in those situations. But going into Tampa Bay, that is going to be the big problem around the middle evening hours on this Wednesday. So the discussion from the National Weather Service, Service, the National Hurricane Center, shows that uh, Hurricane Milton was located uh, just north of the Yucatan Peninsula, heading towards the northeast now at around 12 miles per hour. That northeast motion is going to increase over the next 12 hours by the time it reaches land sometime this evening between 7 p.m. and midnight. And uh, the storm will then move across Florida, take a little bit of an easterly jog, and then move off the coast just probably south of Cocoa Beach, uh, Cape Canaveral area, and then continue off into the Atlantic and then weaken as it moves further offshore. Maximum sustained winds near 160 miles per hour with higher gusts. Milton is a Category 5 hurricane. And fluctuations of intensity are likely while Milton moves across the eastern Gulf of Mexico, but it is expected to be a danger major hurricane when it reaches the west central coast of Florida on Wednesday night, as mentioned. I'm going to check the guidance tomorrow. The guidance, the GFS has been the same just about every run now since Sunday. And uh, I'm not really expecting much of a change. We would just love this thing to just go away, but it just does not look like it's going to do that. It is going to be affecting that coastal west coast of Florida around heavily populated Tampa St. Pete. I'm meteorologist Steve Pelletier. I'm the weatherman. Hope you uh, have a great day today. Check to you uh, a little bit later on, probably a little bit past noontime today. We'll have the latest guidance and uh, update you. But by that point, uh, the hurricane effects will be starting to affect Florida. Talk to you later on.